With all the Frost Last decks that we've covered, both of them being absolute tier one degeneracy, I think it's about time we go to the one that I've been waiting for for a long time. And that is a spread deck. So Frostlass has the Freezing Shroud, dealing 10 damage to ability Pokemon, except Frostlass between turns. Which is like perfect for spread decks because it deals damage over time. And even better for the Hisuai and Bravery, as some of you really want to let me know about. Apparently I pronounced that really wrong. To a point where some of you want to quit watching. Daddy, chill. What? We have the Eerie Cry for zero energy, put three damage counters on each opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters, which Frostlass will be putting onto them. Now, of course, not every Pokemon has an ability, so you still need some form of spread to put damage down. And that's where Spinder comes in, confusingly active and dealing 10 damage to all of the benched Pokemon. We are not using Miss Magius because Miss Magius has an ability and therefore is kind of useless, given that Frostlass will eventually KO it anyway. Now, time is our best friend when it comes to this deck because we need to buy as many turns as possible and that's where the a spec legacy energy actually comes into play effectively meaning that we force them on a seven prize game instead of a six prize and that's the gist basically so let's get in some games and just start spreading damage like it's nobody's business and a quick shout out to our sponsors pdcgl store where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code fdw for five percent off and what's not but you can buy and sell collectible pokemon cards live and they're even giving you 10 pound off your first purchase using my special link links to all sponsors are in the description below, but for now, let's get going. And here we are starting off a card that I teched in. I like Ditto. Now, the reason I've done Ditto is because you always want Spinder turn one, and uh, Spinder isn't searchable with Puffin, but with the amount of switch card we have in this deck, because we want to make sure we have the right cards in the active, um, it's really nice to like Puffin switch into Ditto and then go into the Spinner in the active. It's just a cool concept I thought of. Look at me, guys. I'm so original. Um, but yeah, I thought it was quite a cool, so I throw that in there. Uh, we're playing Arctina, which is a deck that I forgot existed. I see we're getting to that point now where people are uh, they're playing decks that are actually like meta and not new. <laughs> uh, let's, whoa, transform first. Don't get ahead of ourselves there, surely, boy. Let's get the Spinner out with the Ditto. And this is like perfect legacy territory. I am going to judge, even though this is Arceus and they're kind of born to do the judging. But uh, whoa, that is some juice, my guy. Okay, absolute filth, just saying. I am going to go for the... Oh, do I... We rely on the barrel a lot. So I am going to go for the double bibs here. Um, but we've got to make sure we're evolving correctly. We don't want two bibs out if we don't have emergency jelly. Jelly is how we prevent ourselves from being knocked out by Frostlass. So we want to make sure we don't evolve into it. But I just wanted to have that Bidoof down in case to go for like a boss KO on it, you know? Either way, that's the spinner doing its thing. But like a few more bench Pokemon though, that's for sure. Get, 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 get yourself a Bidoof, Dan. Do your thing. It's Dragapult. What the hell? Blood discarded a Dragapult. Okay, he's cooking. Don't know what they're cooking, but they're in the kitchen at least. As they do get themselves an Arceus here. They won't be able to get a knockout, but uh, they'll take zero prize cards for it, which I think is so cool. They do Starbirth. To be fair, they could get a Sinnoh and it would be surprising. Oh no, if they get Sinnoh, they can't attack me. Oh, we're fine. What's weird is although we do play Legacy Energy, we do have Sinnoh ourselves. And that's for one particular card. That's the Mist energy. Mist is an absolute pain in the backside because it prevents the bravery from doing its damage. And so we need a way to shut that off as much as we can so we can get our spread on, you know? Just something to, to bear in mind. Obviously, you could still attack with spinders and stuff and do that, but it's just less effective spread, you know? So we do play Sinnoh ourselves for the Mist because the Mist is a pain in the backside when you're playing against Lugia and any other deck that plays. Oh, see, now it's making sense. Okay, so, oh, I get it. So we're playing Arc Reggie Drago, which is actually the worst version of Reggie Drago, in my opinion, even though it's still kind of good. Um, bro, you, you gotta come to the modern times, my friend, as they just poke a stop to cape and two Gardenia. That is rough. You gotta come to modern times, bro. It's about the Ogre Pond. Donnie can't accept the reality. Either way, that's some ability Pokemon for us to take advantage of, so I'll take that. Legacy Energy coming in there, preventing a prize card. Just lovely. I mean, it done basically nothing for us, but it, it did in my eyes, okay? And there's a the bravery. Pfft, Jesus, what a top deck. Okay, let's just go for for a research. The only problem here is there's like not enough damage to warrant um, the bravery just yet, but I kind of have to. So I think we just not a singular frost last, bro. You must be jerking. All right, let's just go for an eerie cry here and we might have to try and lead to a devolution play here. So we need to get 220 across the board. That's uh, I mean, it's not impossible with the frost last and abilities out, but it is a lot of work. Um, we'll see. Nonetheless, they do go for a research. I mean, they got to get their Reggie Dragos out. No, I mean, they, it's got to happen. So yeah, that, that Tina's there, not for the Tina V star. 
I'm assuming it's there for Shred, uh, which I think you don't guarantee a V for that. I think you go for the Coridon if you really want Shred, because let's be real, you're shredding through a Mimikyu, and 130 is more than enough even if it's charmed, right? Am I right? I mean, I guess with the... No, the Heroes Keep, even Shred doesn't... Yeah, no, I, I, I think you go Coridon for the Shred. If, wait, there's already Drago, and they evolve into it. Oh, but they can they can drag apart now, right? They can take out Snow Run. Oh, that's just rough. But they just Trinity Nova? Okay, they're giving me a chance. Oh, sure thing. I guess they're more focused on just keeping their Reggie Dragos going, right? But I think they should have retreated there. If you ask me, man. Oh, God, I need look to drink over. I've got to be careful there. None of that nonsense, Sean. All right, I think we promote Spinder, and we just go for a Iono, I think. Oh, is Judge better? Judge kind of feels better. Sinnoh works now. Okay, so Sinnoh. That's nice. Okay, do I judge? I'm judging, bro. I'm judging. I don't care. Give him random cards, man. Give him random cards, and we get some stuff ourselves. Hello. Right, we need to evolve, right? We really need to evolve here. Devo's gonna be like a big card here, man. All right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, hmm. No, I'm only gonna devolve once, though, and I have two Devo. Okay, I'm doing this. Yes, I did get rid of a research. What, what about it? I need to uh, make sure I'm prepared here and just get the most. I wanna evolve both of these snow ropes now. That's kind of my goal, so I wanna get max cards here. Come on, you can get me in a snow. You can get me in a frost last. There you go. See, sometimes you just gotta ask, you know? And no, I'm not getting enough of a barrel out because frost last will be damaging me too now. And I'm hoping the disruption of the Sinnoh, the judge, has kind of bricked him a little bit here. Fingers crossed. And then we can just let Frostlass do its thing, go for an eventual devolution, and we cook, bro. Okay, so they did ditch the Sinnoh. They got a Pokestop up there. They are going to go for it. Pretty pretty rough one, if you ask me. And if they want to attack, they are going to be forced to retreat. Unless they want to gamble a little bit, put some uh, put some channel points on the line, if you uh, fellow Twitch users will know what I mean there. Run a prediction and all that. Are they going to flip a coin? Let's see. Loki, I kind of want them to knock me out, because then I can bench the rough it, uh, go for a rods, um, and then just, you know, run it. Okay, they are retreating. Okay. Still a bit worried about the Dragapult attack and spreading damage counters and all that, especially with a barrel. Yeah, that's rough. Um, I think they are going to go for the Dragapult here, right? Yeah. So this is kind of weird. This is very weird. And they are going to put damage on the Frostlass. Okay. Kind of not against that, if you ask me. I'll tell you what would be fantastic is sticking up that Tino. That would be so good. We do have Counter Catcher, so we can do that. So I think I'm going to try and do that. I'm, I'm just going to, like, pay my cards down. Um, do I want a Rod? Yeah, I think I do. But I also want to Ultra Ball for the Bravery. Hmm. Unless I don't research again. I mean, there's always the option, right? Uh, I think I have to Rod here because I need to keep my Bravery flow going. Um, and I'll get a Spindle. But if I research, I should just get it, no? Oh, no, no. What I do is I can... Okay, I've got an idea. Okay. Yeah, I, I incise this first. And okay, so I get rid of an Arvin and a Poffin. Then I grab Bravery. Uh, see, I get it, guys. Don't worry. It's not all being an end all. I'm not that stupid. They're going to have a switch out. I can just feel it, though. But we are going to Arvin now. And <laughs> I won't grab Devolution, but I will grab Jelly and uh, Counter Catch. And now we need to try and buy some turns here. So we're going to Counter Catch up the Giratina in the hopes that they ain't got a switch out. It would be so nice right now to, like, get that Tino back out because then they can obviously, they can they can jet if they've got that. But we'll see. Let's just eerie cry here. Here. But I try and failed and failed to try, eh? And Frost Lass again. I mean, that damage is ramping up, though, no? Like, on a level, it is it is ramping up quickly. We just need a couple of turns. That's really what we need, man. Come on. You ain't got it. No shot. Uh, it's a turbo. They got it, for God's sake. That's why I wanted to sit no. out. <sighs> All right. We'll keep trying. We'll keep her, keep her going. So they're going to take out a Bravery and a Frost Lass. That's two prizes. And then the turn afterwards... Again, two prizes. Reggie Drago just got ultimately buffed. Like, oh, wait, hold on. Huh, you're not going for that. Uh, well, I would bring it down to one, 100. No, you, you, you misplayed there because my Frost Last would have KO'd it anyway. Ah, it's not like it really matters, does it? Uh, this is why we have the other Bidoof down. And we have research in hand, so we are absolutely fine. <laughs> they didn't know that, though, you know? That said, I would have rather... Uh, a recent stamp would have been bloody nice now. That's for sure. Can we make it? I don't think we can get there, you know? Uh, my confidence is running slim. All oh, because of the bloody Dragapult attack. Ridiculous. Right, well, it's now or never, man. Let's just go for the bravery. Let's go for the Sino. Let's go for the counter catch. Bring up Tina. We're going for it again, boys. Hey, listen, you never know. All right, you never know. And well, I should have put the snow run down, actually. Would have had KO anyway. All right, let's just see if we cry. And that's getting awfully close. Um, I think I need one more one more swing on the Reggie. And then we can Devo for game, no? Yeah. Oh, don't tell me we're one turn up. This is a massive turn. If they get switch, it's GG. If they don't, we could win. It's a Nest Ball. That ain't a switch. And they fail it. They're obviously checking their deck there. It's a fire on Tina. Okay. Does that mean I have to devolve this turn, though? But if I devolve, then I can't damage the Reggie. Oh, uh, uh, boss? Huh, they're bossing up Badoo. 
move. That sucks. And they rod. Okay, so an Iono's actually bad here. Because they're just going to rod energy back to then try and retreat. And if I Iono them, I'll probably Iono them into that, no? <sighs> oh, no, Abyss Seeking. Okay, no, I definitely Iono. <laughs> Throw the energy to the bottom of the deck, okay? Bro, please, I just need the one turn, man. Oh, there it is. What do they actually get rid of the Abyss Seeking? Um, get rid of a boss and a vessel. Oh, bro, one turn away from game, man. Come on, please. Just don't have it, okay? Don't have it. I'm going to put you down. Gonna go into you, and we're gonna Iono, and I need some absolute juice here. I need to, I need to survive. We go for a super rods, and I think I actually recover a bit barrel and two energy. We switch into the bravery, like so, and we eerie cry and literally pray for the best here. Unless the mass is, no, the mass isn't KOing it now. Oh wait, if they just pass, they lose, no? Oh, we don't even need the, we don't even need the Devo. We just, we just kind of like win anyway. Oh my God, please don't have a treat, please. If you just pass, we win. If they have the retreat, it's GG for me. Come on, no shots. No shots. Ah, they got the energy, for God's sake. Oh, man. Why why Dragapult, bro? Why? That was so, so close. But you know what? We brought it down to the wire, and I'm, I'm happy with it. I had fun. I had fun, man. Double snow run and a ditto, and we're playing against the festival. Actually, that's not festival just yet. Triple snow run. Bro, ski. Actually, I don't want triple snow run. That's a bit too much. It's a bit too greedy. Let's go for Bidoof and Ruffit, and we will ditto transformative start into our spinder, which will give us some juice. Do I have all three? No, I don't have all three for us last, so I definitely don't throw the other snow run down as much as I want to. I think we just we just chill. We just chill, bro. We got Badoof. We're vibing. This is like the perfect match for us, though. If I if I if I lose this one, I am bro. I I, I'm, I can't be saved. <laughs> there's a puffin for themselves there. I want to see what this is. Because there's actually no guarantee of this being the festival lead deck just yet. Oh, uh, no, it is. Okay, they just got Goldeen for the obvious easy festival lead in the active instead of just relying on Diplin being in the active. Of course. There's an Arvin coming through. Bro, we can legit, if they like get a full board, we could take like a six price turn though. I'm pretty sure we can do something like that. Um, <laughs> that'd be kind of wild. Just winning one whole turn. That'd be kind of entertaining. Let's see if we pulled it off. They got everything now. Relor. Um, oh, Relor stops damage counter spread. Oh, we got to hit that Relor, bro. We got to take it out. Ah, Relor's actually kind of a, oh, they're going to be so smart. They're going to bring out the Relor now, right? But the Frostlass will do the job. No? Yeah, Frostlass, Frostlass will do it for us. Okay, it's fine. The Relor will prevent it, but the Frostlass will eventually KO it. So we're not even going to be a spread deck. We're just going to be a uh, frost last and pass. <laughs> what about, am I playing Sornax again? Bro. Hey, listen, at least we can deal with the Relo. That's fine. Um, are they going to bring it out though and realizing? They are. Okay. So yeah, it's the frost last show now. And at least we still hit the active. So that's kind of fine. So let's just go like this. Uh, go here. And considering we're relying more on frost last, I will bench this snow run. We can get it from the prize guards. So I am just going to kind of lean into it a little bit more, I guess you could say. Let's arve them. We'll get a jelly and an ultra ball. And I'll discard a switch and pop in and get another frost last. We just need frost last to do its thing. Throw a jelly down. And then just go for the dizzying spin, which will only do 10 to the active, because Rello will protect it. But only a matter of time, mate, until that Rello, that Rabaska does just go down. So it's two there, two back, uh, two here, two back. And then, okay, so it's like three turns, I think, for me, I think, for that to happen. Plus, the Goldeen's going to be KO'd eventually as well. Yeah, this is just, it's such a bad matchup for them. I'll be fuming if that was them right now. Like, oh, let me try the Festival League deck. Spread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's wilding, bro. I feel I'm the be. Listen, you've been known it. Uh, they go for a boom boom grow and they get another flacky course. And there's another boom, boom group. God, I love saying that. And it's a festival grounds. Wait, you can heal special can bro. What are you doing? <laughs> it's kind of, Hey, listen, I'm going to say that's kind of cool, but I'm angry. I want to confuse you. Oh, and they are just getting an Oko on. Oh, they're taking two prizes this turn. Wait a second. Wait, stop this at once. What the hell? Oh God. I'm getting razzle dazzled here. Uh, that's, that's a problem. Yeah. That's uh that's, that's an issue. Gonna have to give him the snow run, man. I uh, don't know how I feel about this. I am so screwed. Um, okay. Kind of likes that barrel. Bit of a shame it's gone. <laughs> Frostla, save me, please. <laughs> please stop this. Give me a prize card. Yes. Go. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll get, we'll get there. Listen, they can get aggressive. They can take multiple prize cards. At the end of the day, we're going to get there. All right. It's fine. Super rod. I'm going to get a, get a bibs back. Get my snow run back. I'm going to have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, the legacy prevents the double price take. That's fine. Frostlass can do the work, man. There's freezing shrouds and the red oil will get KO'd coming back into me, which means I can then actually do something about it. Actually, that means I actually need to rely less on the Frostlass, right? So maybe I do let them take a Frostlass out. Actually, that's assuming they bench a Pokemon. Oh, they will. They'll, be they'll, they'll bench a Pokemon, of course. Yeah, there's an Applin. So I guess as long as I just keep... <laughs> Bro, this is such a scam. If I just keep the Frostlass out, I'm sure I just win, no? Well, not necessarily. There's only four prize on the board for the taking, so I'd have to take another prize somewhere else somehow. 
how. So then I there's still more work needing to be done, which means I don't give him Frostlass here. I just give him the rough it and they only take the one prize for it. Yeah, that, that seems right. Unless they boss it, they could boss it, of course, because they do have the uh, the groove. But this matchup went from, oh my God, it's an auto win to, oh my God, I'm auto losing. No, they just bug catching set. I wonder why you don't boss here. That does leave me a little uh, perplexed. Um, but let's see if we can get something from the prize cards here. That's what we're looking for. Uh, again, just a spinder would be kind of cool because it's a basic Pokemon. It can get an attack off. Also, could attack with Frostlass, just saying. So I can just attach to a Frostlass as well. So there is that. Listen, they've adapted. We're adapting too, mate. You know what I'm saying? So it really depends on the top deck. But uh, I think the turn afterwards as well, both of those Thwackies go down. So it is interesting. Right. They do lose Rabaska. They do lose a Diplin. Something, please, from the prizes. Anything. Oh, it's the other Frostlass that I could have used before. But no, top deck, it's it's a bit... <laughs> All right, Badoof, come up for duty, mate. There you go. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. What, a, what, a, what a fine gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to be taking KO'd again for two prize cards. But I think I still win, no? Because uh, if they, okay, if they KO Bidoof and Frostlass, then yes, it's only one damage counter coming back through. But isn't that enough? They need to get Rillaboom out. I don't know if they're going to realize this, but Rillaboom is what they need to do right now. Hmm. Okay, they get themselves a recovery there. And they get a Diplin out. They throw an Applin down. And there's an energy there. And a Poffin grab themselves another Applin. Have they realized they need to get the 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 old the old drumming monkey? No, they're just going to do the wave? Uh, excuse me, I I think you just lost yourself the game there, Chief. Uh, I'm actually kind of frazzled. I'm a bit bedazzled. Wait, yeah, we win. Wait, we do? Yes, because I KO this Diplin, and then the, the Frostlass KOs the Thwacky. They didn't even use their Boom Boom Groves. Wait, they must have prized it, or they just they just didn't see it. Oh, my friend. Oh, my friend. What a mistake that I made. I've just got to do this. <laughs> <laughs> One lone Frostlass. I didn't even spend anything. I just let Frostlass do the job as if I had a choice. We're going to come in. We're going to go for the Frost Mash and we're going to win. <laughs> this is like the most absurd game of Pokemon I've played in so long. What the hell even is this, man? They bring up Thwacky. There's the double ping. Both Thwacky go down, giving us two prize cards. And literally on the skin and all our back, we managed to get through there and take the dub. That, that was just ridiculous. <laughs> Starting off the spinder here and we have oh my god we have another festival i i swear to god i'm not picking these games this is two games in a row okay listen listen we'll go for round two okay we're going for round two we know they can actually pull something off here we've seen it so let's uh let's 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 just see obviously Frostlass absolutely saved the day so we need to make sure we can do that try and pull some stuff off it i can't believe we got double festival wait is this the same person oh did pdcg do the thing again where it matched up with the same person twice oh it really did right this is actually going to be kind of like a weird best of three then <laughs> um we we both have learned our lessons for how this matchup's going to go so this one is going to be different and uh i'm so Super curious. Uh, they've got their TM Evo, so they're again gonna go for the Relor. Unless they've prized it, uh, that would be a wonderful outcome. Uh, oh, hold on. They might have prized their Relor. There's a bug catching set. If they have, that's massive. Ah, okay. Oh, if they have, then we can go full spread right now. No questions. They get a thwacky off the bug catching set there. Energy on the Grookey. TM Evolution. And they go for the Evolution. Yes, they haven't prized the Relor. Come on, boys. I mean, they have prized it. Learn English. That is so good. Oh, oh, oh. Means we can take some prize cards before anything actually happens. Unless they decided not to Relor, which I can't see in a million years being the case. I don't know. Right. Uh, I also kind of don't care. I'm going to go for a, hmm, kind of one Iono, um, but it doesn't guarantee energy, whereas Arvin does. I'm Ionoing. Screw it. I'm an Iono. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll never get punished. Watch this. Puffing in energy all day. That is really bad. Okay, fine. I'll go for a Sinnoh. I'll ultra ball away the bravery. I'll get myself another snow runs. Don't please don't punish. I just need an energy. Okay, I just want to get an attack off. I forgot to evolve the bravery and we didn't get punished for it. Thank God. All right, let's just do that. Throw the jelly down. Go into the bravery. And now we have... Why can't I dazzle me? Okay, I thought I couldn't there. We go for the dizzying spin as Frostlass gets a ping as well. And the game begins. I tried to make it rhyme. It, it did there in the end. Right, they get a festival grounds down right away, removing the confusion. They throw an Applin down. And this is going to be an absolute um, interesting game because, again, they can still do the multi-prize thing, right? So it's going to be super interesting how this goes. Do I give them the snow run this time around? Or... No, I guess I give... Yeah, I guess I do. Because I think the bravery just accelerates so much of that damage output that I can't... I don't have to go, like, so heavy into the snow run, right? I think we let them take out the spinder, let them take out the snow run, 
Um, and the bravery with that 120 HP means they don't take the two prize turns. So that's also quite good. Bear in mind, they could also go for a boss, right? I guess they're going to go for the same a uh, action of bossing up the barrel. But if they do that, it won't be a one hit KO. They have to go for the double attack on it. Let's see what they decide. It's going to be tough, right? Because if you bring up the barrel, then you're kind of screwed because I still have the option for the double frost lass. Um, and they were burned last game by prioritizing the barrel. So oh, they're just going to vacuum instead. And they va what? They vacuum Rabaskar away? <laughs> what? I'm okay, it's Rabska. Everyone's going to go crazy at the comments for me pronouncing it wrong. I don't care. Rabska. Bro, you're just giving up on that fully? Oh, you're just giving me the reins. Okay, say no more. Unless they're kind of, maybe they're trying to adapt to a different strategy. Maybe they're like, do you know what? I had the Rabsker out and ultimately Frostlash just got rid of it anyway. So is there any point in getting it out, which is the wrong idea because yes, Frostlash takes it down, but it still buys you turns. And those are turns where you could take multiple KOs, right? So yeah, interesting. Okay, they are going to go for the barrel again. And this is just full miss playtown, I think. I think they're going for the same strat, but without Rabasker, it's even worse because you're just keeping... Oh, I see. They wanted to vacuum away the squeeze, but I swear the squeeze wouldn't activate until after the attack. The second attack, that is. So I think they, maybe they just didn't know how the sequence was really working there. Right, well, it's definitely bravery time now, yeah? 110%, because that's just going to make things so much quicker. And I am tempted to Arvin here, actually, instead of I. No, I need to see more cards. Yeah, I I'm waffling. I just don't want to get, like, dead hand. I still need to play this game, but uh, ah, we're fine. Look at that. That's okay. There's another Spinder. We're cooking, bro. We're fine. Don't need to roll just yet, but I am going to eerie cry, and that just, just makes things wild, as we're just going to get KO so much sooner now. Tell you what, though, would be nice to have another frost last, actually, now that I think about it. There's an energy on the Aplin and a boom, boom groove. Are you going to go again for some boss plays? I think they underutilized the bossing in that last match, um, where they could have just bossed up, like, priority cards. Like, don't get me wrong, the spinners are, like, you know, they're going to do some stuff, but the frost last is really where it's at, so you should really be bossing these things up. They are going to pow pad a boss and oven back. So I think they are going for another boss, but this time onto the frost last, which is fine, because I have the rod to recover it, and I have research in hand. They're going to hate me, because you think if I'm playing the barrel, I'm not going to play that heavier supporter line, but this has some good supporter lines, I think, because it, it can break a little bit sometimes. And so I was like, let me just like increase the support account to a level that I'm comfortable with if the barrel was down, or at least more more truthfully, it's just to feel better. That's just, that's kind of it. I, I, I build decks on vibes, you know what I'm saying? Well, they do go for the wave, thankfully not getting a two prize on that account. Um, So they didn't go for boss. I'm interested as to what they grabbed there when they did uh, use their boom, boom grooves. Yeah, that's uh, that's a bit of a, a bit of a theory, huh? But nonetheless, that is a KO on the Diplin there. And we will follow up with a KO on the other Diplin. I guess they're worried about consistency, right? They're like, I need to keep my Diplins going because I'm just going to lose. I'm going to get a Poffin. That's cracked. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I pop in here. I get a Bidoof. And I get a... I think I need to get a another Snow Run. Uh, no, we've prized Frostlass again. Oh, I might get Frostlass back. Yeah, I'm kind of cool with that instead of going for the Bravery because the Spinder is still putting damage. Uh, no, the Bravery is just better. Yeah. Okay, let's go for the Ruffit. Gonna Rod back. I think I'm going to go for a Bidoof. Uh, the barrel, sorry, and double bravery here. I'll ultra bull away, ditto and switch, get frost lass. Yeah, they're going to hate me, bro. They're going to see a research hit and they're going to be fuming. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Come on, baby. He's will like to see, man. Hmm, I won't attach legacy just yet. I'm just going to dizzy and spin and uh, take out that diplin. Oh, wait, the frost lass takes out both wackies. Oh, we just win. Come on. There's no way we're losing now. Oh, wait, no, I should have attached legacy, right? Because they're going to take two prizes here anyway. That's true. They are going to take two prizes. But I just took two anyway. That's three prizes in a turn. Yeah, this this has to be a wrap now. They've been smart though, not evolving um, when they don't have to, to like minimize that damage that I'm doing. But you have to evolve. You know what I'm saying? And then bravery is going to come in and it's just it's just filth. Yeah, this this is where it's going to get a little bit disgusting now, especially with the legacy. I think they could have had a chance here if I didn't have legacy energy, you know, but uh, now nah, I think it's a little too late now. Either way, there's an energy on the benched Applin and another pop him. Yeah, I think if they had uh, the, the, the Relo and Rabska out, I think they could have won this one because of my misplay. They do have Relo, but why didn't you do it? Yeah, I was right in the start. They were just like, no, it's either they were completely tilted in the fact that they matched up against me again, or they were trying a different outcome. And they were like, well, let me see what it plays like without the Relo out, which you can't hate. And also, my God, an Iono. Yeah, that's a bit of a pain. Um, Oh, counter catcher. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to be forced to spin to here, which means I have to give him rough it. Oh, see, now, now, now you, now, ooh, ooh, that's, uh, that's a bit concerning. They could win here. Yeah, that Iono is kind of mental. Okay, they're going to do the wave. I have literally no choice but to give him rough it. Am I going to have to frost last again? Am I going to have to attack with frost last again? <laughs> again? No shot. I'm going to have to attack with frost last again. Frost last again.
again. That's hilarious if I do. Ah, but then if they like, oh, oh my god, I think we lose here now. I have to have a Pokemon that that Diplin cannot KO out. Um, oh god. Yeah, that's that's interesting. I think we lose. Unless we get the barrel here. Uh, oh, nest ball. Can I claw them for 30? Like, that actually kind of makes more sense, no? Because it knocks out the Diplin. No, it doesn't work. Just giving it some thought. They can double KO me here. Flipper coin is... Uh, no, that's not good. I, I, I think I lose. Further, Iona has fully killed me. Absolutely killed me. Yeah. They can go in here. I, I guess maybe I should have gone for the coin flip. 30 damage. They're going to take two prizes before checkup hits. Yeah. Okay. I stand corrected. That Iona was the was the, the, the final blow. And by dashing the raps going instead just going for consistency and disruption, it's paid off. And you can only say fair play. GG. I think that was quite cool. It's 1-1. One, one. Interesting to see a deck, though, actually do very well against this matchup. Like, this is the prime example of decks on paper looking different to what they actually are, which is, I guess, is a cool representation of that. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I can't lie. I did not expect the level of insight that this video was going to have today, but it did have great insight and I'm happy with that. And a little bit of fun as well. One turn away from beating literally both of those decks that we lost to. Like it literally could have gone our way in one other turn and we would have won both of them, which is fun. I like the fine margins that this deck suddenly creates. It feels like a lot of times when you play, it really goes down to the wire. So you get the best game. And that's what I love about spread decks because they just force that type of competitive game. Or maybe I'm looking too deep into it. Let's just leave it there. Thank you very much and bye-bye. And a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel. If you want to become a member yourself, click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like. But we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for the support, guys. See you later.